I want to be clear. The media and others incorrectly say, I resigned because I breached the Hillsong Code of Conduct, but that's just not true. I didn't resign because of my mistakes. I resigned because of the announcements and statements that have been made, which Bobby and I felt made my position untenable. Here are some excerpts that I'll read from my letter to the board, and please note, I didn't see the board's statement of March 18th until after it was made public and was sent to Hillsong's global database. So in direct quotes from my resignation letter, I said, the board's statement to the church has made my position untenable. The board gave enough detail to allow people's imaginations to run wild and draw their own conclusions. The statement did nothing to add my perspective. So understand, I'm reading my resignation letter, just portions of it. So further on, I said the statements that have been made have left me with no choice but to end our time as pastors and leaders of Hillsong Church. And then in another part of my resignation letter, I said, thank you for the opportunity. It has been an honor, and I can truthfully say Hillsong Church is our life's work. I have no intention of retiring, and in the future will still be in ministry, whatever that looks like and wherever that is. My hope is that I could have an active role as founding pastor of our church. That's what I wrote to the board, and that's the resignation that the board were quick to accept. Sadly, in the statements and announcements made, there was enough detail to pour ultimate shame and humiliation on me, but enough ambiguity to leave people to make their own conclusions about what did or didn't happen. And frankly, in many cases, those conclusions are wrong. 